Hello and welcome into the first NASCAR K&M Pro Series West Rewind show of 2019. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. And I apologize if I sound a little off today. I've been fighting a bit of a sinus infection the last couple of days, so it has been a trip. Haven't really been able to do much RNN related other than tweeting practice, qualifying race results, that kind of thing. So um, I do apologize this getting out so late, but uh, it has been a struggle the past couple of days. But uh, today on the KN West Rewind, we're looking back at Thursday night's Star Nursery 100 for the k and Pro Series West 100 laps around the half-mile Las Vegas Motor Speedway dirt track, the Bull Ring, in Las Vegas, Nevada. And so there were two cautions in the in the first half of this race. We had, uh, I don't know that you really call it a stage break at lap 50, because it wasn't really a stage break, but um, with a lot of these tracks that uh, the k and Pro Series goes to, they don't really have a pit road in the infield, so they have to have a bit of a brake caution so cars can go out to the pit area, the garage area to do pit stops. So they had that at lap 50 in this race. We had two cautions before that though, five total in this race, two before the break. Lap 20 was the first caution of the night uh, as the 72 car of Kenny Bombera spun in turn two. Shortly afterward, lap 27, the 86 of Tim Spurgeon spun in turn three. Third caution of the night was lap 50 for that pit stop break. Lap 59, shortly after the break, uh, the 9 of Trevor Huddleston and the 14 of Austin Reed got together in turn 2. And a lap 63, final caution of the night, the 64 of David Hibbert spun in turn 2. Turn 2 seemed to kind of be the calamity corner on the night. Uh, three of the four incidents all happened in turn 2. Austin Reed led the first eight laps of the night from the pole before being passed by Derek Krause on lap nine, who led a total of 60 laps. He really dominated that first half of the race before the pit stop break, uh, but there were a few cars that had caught him by that lap 50 caution. Uh, he was able to hold him off for a little bit after the, uh, the pit stop break, but then at lap 69, Jagger Jones takes the lead from Krause, and he leads for 31 circuits. Now, if you're doing the math there, that leaves one lap left, not led by Jagger Jones. That is because the final lap and the race win went to Haley Deegan. She was able to run down Jagger Jones in a very impressive run, partially due to Jones getting caught up in lap traffic, but she was quicker than Jones over that final run. Uh, she was able to make up about four seconds there in that final 15 to 20 laps. Um, caught him, put the bumper to him in turns one and two, did a very well executed bump and run there in one and two as Jones got held up by yet another lap car and was able to take the lead and held on for that final lap to pick up her second K&N Pro Series West victory, her first of 2019. Jagger Jones did come home in the second position with Joey Tanner in a very impressive third place finish in his Jeff Jefferson 7 car. Cody Vanderwall also very impressive on the night. He came home in the fourth position with Todd Souza rounding out the top five. The rest of your top ten were Derek Krause, Trevor Huddleston, Travis Milburn, Austin Reed, Matt Levin were your top ten. 11 through 19th, final page here. First K&N West start for Brittany Zamora was fairly impressive. Um, really her second start in one of these cars as she was with the whole Bill McAnally Racing contingent in New Smyrna for the K&N East race. But this is her first K&N West start and it was a pretty good race. I don't know how much dirt track experience she has, if she really has any up to this point. So an 11th place finish is not all that bad of a first race for Brittany Zamora. Very respectable start. I'll uh, be interested to see where she goes for the rest of the season, what kind of finishes she is able to put up now that we're going to be back on paved tracks going forward. All right, so we're still working on getting a Haley Deegan winner interview, as you can imagine. Um, it is very hard to fit into her schedule, um, especially after she wins a race. Uh, there's lots of, of media requests going her way. So uh, if you remember back from the Idaho win, it took us... 
uh, I want to say it was Wednesday following that race before we finally got into her schedule to get an interview. So it could be the middle portions of this week before we are able to actually get a winter interview lined up with her for this race, but we are working on that. And uh, so instead of pushing this rewind show all the way back to possibly Wednesday, go ahead and get it out now. We'll get you all your info on the race and then look for a separate video later this week. Uh, hopefully not Wednesday. Hopefully it's sooner than that. But uh, whenever it does happen, look out for uh, a video here in the next few days, our winter interview with Haley Deegan. And we'll take a look at the points real quick following this race. Of course, because it's one race into the season, it's going to pretty well mirror the race results. But another point that has been thrown around, uh, another historical checkbox that uh, Haley Deegan has been able to fill in, is that she is now the first female to lead the point standings in any NASCAR series. So, kudos to Haley being able to... Uh, make all these uh, historical moments happen for her. It is really cool to uh, to see her be able to do that. Of course, Jagger Jones there in the second position. I think we've got a really good championship battle here shaping up. Uh, honestly, I'm going to... I think right now your championship favorites are between Haley Deegan, Jagger Jones, and Derek Krause. Now, that being said, there are a couple of dark horses here I think could uh, sneak into this championship picture. Cody Vanderwall being one of them there. He is tied for fourth right now with Derek Krause and then Trevor Huddleston down there at seventh. Huddleston didn't really have the best night in Vegas but uh, that could be due to maybe a lack of dirt track experience so I wouldn't really rule him out right now. He is in a Sunrise Ford so he's in one he's driving for one of the two best teams in the Canaan West Series right now between Sunrise Ford and uh, Bill McAnally Racing so being in a Sunrise Ford, he's got the, the equipment underneath him, and I think he's got the talent. Otherwise, uh, Bob Brumcotti wouldn't give him that opportunity in that nine car. So I look for him to possibly be a dark horse this season. I think his teammate Jagger Jones is definitely in that championship talk um, with Haley Deegan and Derek Krause. But I think Cody Vanderwall and Trevor Huddleston might be ones to watch as well there. Um, right now, I would call them the dark horses in this championship battle. We'll see how this goes over the next few races for the Canaan West Series. But I believe that'll do it for us on this Canaan West Rewind. We've got a truck rewind coming up here probably shortly after this. We're going to record it uh, as soon as we're done recording this one. So look for that to go up shortly after this. And then... Uh, an Xfinity Rewind, not sure if that'll be tonight or if that'll be tomorrow morning. Depends how quickly we can get a winter interview set up for that one. Um, if it seems like we can get it set up quick enough to get it actually in the show, we'll do it tomorrow morning on Sunday morning. Uh, but if it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get a winter interview at all or if we're going to be able to get it in a very timely manner, uh, we'll go ahead and put it up tonight after the race and then the winter interview will go up in its own separate video, like we're doing with the Haley Deegan interview uh, for this race. So, then of course, Cup Rewind coming up Sunday evening, and pole position recaps everything that happened this weekend very quickly, Monday evening at 8 p.m. But if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. And while you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you liked the video? It is much appreciated when you do that. And it helps us out so much when you do that. It really does. But I believe that'll do it for this week's NASCAR Caden Pro Series Rewind Show. At that, I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.